Hey guys, James with Esprit Model Jetty USA. Uh, we want to talk to you a little bit about how to set, set up your alarms in the radio. Uh, so far you have seen how to set up the telemetry, how to display the telemetry on the radio. Today we're going to show you how to create alarms based on the telemetry. We're going to be using a Jetty Duplex R9 receiver and the Jetty MT300EX temperature sensor uh, to display this stuff for, that we're trying to do today. First thing that you want to do um, is verify that you have the telemetry. I've got, I've got it on my display telemetry so we can see it. Uh, to make sure that you have it in the system, go to timers and sensors, sensors logging setup, and that'll show you all of the sensors that you have online and what data they're recording. Um, so we, see, we have only the MT300, so that's all that appears here. What we're going to do is we're going to escape out to the time, main timers and sensors menu. We're going to click on alarms. We're going to scroll down below the standard voltage alarm and we're going to, there's an extra one here, let me get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and click add to create a new alarm. We're going to click on sensor and in this case we're going to select temperature A. Once you've selected the sensor you want to use, you need to enable that. So that needs to be a check mark instead of an X. And once you've done that, you'll notice a whole menu open up. Uh, the condition we're going to recreate is X. Uh, greater than, so we're going to go ahead and change this to a greater than symbol and we're going to go ahead and set a baseline temperature um, and for this example I know what my oh, we changed that there, uh, for this, this example I know what my standard or my baseline temperature is so we're going to set something just above baseline uh, so that we can uh, give ourselves a little bit of room to demo, demonstrate this here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it for, uh, let's see, 33 degrees. We should, 32 degrees Celsius should work pretty good. Once you've set that, you can go ahead and escape to, to get back out of that uh, box. We're going to click on file. We're going to go ahead and collect a, uh, or select a sound file. Uh, what we're looking for is a temperature alarm. Uh, so we want to look and see if we can find one that works. Uh, let's see, high temperature A, I believe. Let's see what that says. Temperature A high. Yep, so that works perfect. And we're going to go ahead and select a switch to activate that. Actually, we don't want that on a switch. We want to leave that active all the time. If you wanted that to only operate at certain times, you wanted to select a switch, you just select the switch box, brings up select input control, and then throw the switch that you uh, want to use for that. We're not going to do that in this case and yes we want to repeat. If you don't want it to repeat, you only want it to sound that alarm once, you can click the repeat box, change it to three times or change it to off. We're going to go ahead and leave that to, to we're going to set it to th repeat three times. Uh, announce current value by voice which we don't need and we don't, we're not going to mess with these set throttle idle based on this condition. So once you've got that set up, we're going to go ahead and click OK and we're going to escape all the way out to the main menu. Uh, we'll notice the temperature A probe is reading 29.4 degrees centigrade. So what we want to do is we want to try and get that uh, sensor to heat up enough to where it will register. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little Warning. body heat. Temperature high. Warning. And there's temperature our alarm. High. Warning. Temperature high. And that'll go off three times and stop going. Once that comes back down it'll reset and then it, if it uh, reaches that temperature again, of course, that alarm will go off again. This will work with any of the sensors you're using. Uh, in the alarms menu, I'll go ahead and open that alarm again just to give you an idea. Uh, we'll click on our temperature A alarm. If I wanted to choose a condition that was below a specific temperature, say we were right at trying to reach an operating temperature, uh, or if we're looking for a, a bad burn condition on a fuel motor, we could set that to X less than and set a temperature. The other option that you have, you have X greater than, X less than, uh, and then if on, on some of them, let's say on our, if we were running off of speed, we could actually use a range, but for this case you have an X greater than or X, X less than. If you have any questions on what you've seen here today, uh, feel free to reach out to us at JettyUSA or Espreemodel.com. Uh, thanks for joining us.